What's up guys, I'm Viv, aka Vivid Ritual. I'm a World of Warcraft streamer and content creator, and this is the first video of my Mythic Plus for Beginners guide. In this video, we'll go over the overview, the basics, how to prep for dungeons, what Mythic Plus and Keystones even are, and many other things. If you're brand new to Mythic Plus, this is the video for you. You'll wanna stick around. As always, if you like what you see in the video, hit that like and subscribe button because there's going to be plenty more where these came from. Enjoy! Here's my overview of what Mythic Plus is. Basically, dungeons have three difficulties, normal, heroic, and mythic. Each drop a higher item level of gear, and item level of gear usually determines how much damage, healing, or survivability you have doing dungeons. Once you complete a mythic dungeon, you'll get a keystone. These keystones are timed mythic dungeons that contain more challenges and can be done for gear unlimited times a week where regular mythic dungeons can only be done once a week for end of gear loot. Before you start doing your mythic plus dungeons, there's a few things that you're going to want to do to prepare. Prepping for dungeons will not only make them easier for you, but your group as a whole. First, you're gonna wanna get your consumables, flasks, oils, sharpening stones, whatever you need. There's a link in Wowhead in my PowerPoint to the page that will show you what is best to use for your class. You'll also want to research your dungeons and roots and the different affixes. I'll have a whole nother video describing what affixes are what, what they do, and how to overcome them in the future. Um, another thing you could do is use helpful add-ons. A few add-ons that I absolutely love are DBM, which is Deadly Boss Mods. These are mods for your dungeons and raid. It includes timers, warnings, special effects, sounds so that you don't stand in shit, etc. Another one is Mythic Dungeon Tools. This can import and export different routes that your tank has provided for you to make the dungeon as easy as possible. This is super useful to have. Another one that I found is questionably epic dungeon tips. Every tip you could ever possibly want about mobs, priorities, interrupts, things that will help keep you alive. Omni CD shows who in your party has cooldowns, has interrupts available, and will make your dungeon experience a lot better because you won't die nearly as much. Raider IO, you can view your Mythic Plus scores, raid progress, etc. They're an amazing scoring system and I highly recommend using them. Weak auras are highly customable, highly customizable, sorry, graphics for your WoW interface. I love these and when I do my series about individual dungeons, I will include which weak auras that I recommend downloading. Once you've gotten your keystone and done the dungeon as a key with a group and timed your keystone, it will turn into a higher level keystone by a total of plus three depending on how fast it's completed. Enemy health scales and new challenges or affixes are added as the level grows. Completing multiple keys a week, one key, four keys, or ten keys will grant you extra loot each Tuesday in your Great Vault, so you'll have more options and higher level gear to choose from. Alright, so there's two different ways to do keystones. The first being pugging, using Group Finder. These usually already have a key holder, so you won't need to use your key. Open up Group Finder, select pre-made groups, then dungeons. The screen should look like this. Once you click Find Group, a list of available groups and key levels will show up. Click the ones you want to sign up for and click Sign Up. The second way, if you have a tank, healer, 3 DPS, and your own key, you can do a key with friends. Add your friends to the party, go to the dungeon of the key you have, make sure your dungeon difficulty is set to Mythic, after entering the dungeon, make sure your party's ready and enter the keystone in the activator. Once activated, the key has started and it's time to beat the timer. Good luck, have fun! Alright guys, that sums up the Beginner's Mythic Keystone video. In the next video, I'll discuss affixes and how to overcome the challenges of different keystone levels. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. As always, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and come shoot me a follow on Twitch. I stream three times a week, depending on my schedule, and I'm super excited to see you guys there. We'll be pushing keys, doing raids, all sorts of other stuff, and I'd be happy to answer your questions there as well. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you guys next time.